Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you some of the new in items that I've added to my wardrobe now that the transitional season has hit here in Sydney. And you all know how much I love this time of year because it's really when your wardrobe comes into its own and you can wear pretty much everything in it depending on which end of the season that you're at. Today's video is in partnership with Karma which is an app and Chrome extension which helps you to make the most out of your shopping experience by finding coupon codes for you and letting you know if there is a price drop. Now if you aren't familiar with Karma they actually used to be called Shop Tagger and you'll probably recognize that name because I've talked about them a lot on my channel. I've been using Shop Tagger for years just as it really allows me to one um, narrowly define my wish list. I have it all in one place. I get email alerts if an item goes on sale and I tend to try and buy most of the items that I add to my wardrobe at a discount so that I can stretch my budget a little bit further. And three I also like that it will tell me when an item that I have on my wish list has come back in stock as I tend to sit on the majority of my purchases for around about 30 days just to make sure that I am 100% certain before I go ahead with the purchase. Shop Target is constantly expanding their capabilities and the new name Karma represents the good karma that they put forth. I am going to have a link to where you can download the Chrome extension down in the description box below if you haven't already added it to your browser. If you're already using Shop Target, now Karma, don't be concerned if you do see the new logo pop up, which I think is really snazzy. Um, now I am going to show you how to use it. It is super simple. If you want to add an item to one of your lists so you can be alerted if it goes on sale or if it comes back in stock. The first thing that you want to do is head over to Karma and download the extension and add it to your browser. Then when you're kind of browsing for your new season wardrobe and you spot an item that you like you can add it to one of your lists by saving it using the Karma button. This appears either in the top of the toolbar or else as a sliding button on the right hand side of your screen. When you click on it, it allows you to select the color, the size, when you want to be notified. I like setting my notifications for any price drop and then you can add it to a list. I really love the list feature as it allows you to effortlessly organize all of the items that you have your eye on and I like to use it as a additional step when it comes to adding to my closet. I can see if there's any duplicates and I can easily mull over what I might want to add to my wardrobe while I'm waiting for a potential discount. Once you've added an item to your list you'll get either an email or a push notification if you're using the app on your phone to let you know if it has gone on sale, if it's back in stock, if it went out of stock or if there's a relevant coupon code that you can use to save a little bit of money off your purchase. One of my favorite features of Karma is that when you're at checkout it will automatically scan the web to see if there are any relevant discount codes so you can save a little bit of extra money off your purchase. This coupon feature at checkout only works on desktop so downloading the Chrome extension is an absolute must. And in addition to that you can actually earn cash via PayPal with their cashback feature from select retail partners which you can browse on the Karma website. As I mentioned before I am going to have a link to Karma down in the description box below so you can go and check it out. I recommend having the app on your phone and also using the web extension if you really want to maximize those potential savings. Definitely something that I've been thinking a lot about as I try and make my wardrobe budget stretch a little bit further. Now let's talk through the new additions that I've added to my wardrobe. I'm going to try everything on and then talk about it and show you some cutaways. Now the very first piece that I wanted to talk about is this beautiful ribbed knit t-shirt from Cezanne. I have been looking for basics which are a little bit more elevated, a little bit more different so that I can add some interesting details to my outfits and I felt like this ticked a lot of boxes for me. Uh, it's quite feminine in terms of its design because it has this beautiful, um, it's almost a daisy applique type trim along the entire neckline and then it also goes down the center of the t-shirt as well and then you have these little buttons which are functional so you could wear this open almost like a little jacket if you were heading to the beach and you just wanted to cover your shoulders. I am convinced that you can wear this back to front. I can't remember if on the website they did that as well but I did try it on backwards and it looks really nice as well because you have that daisy detail it just comes across the neckline really beautifully. 
I will be sure to show you in the cutaways how that looks actually, just so you can get a sense. It's 100% cotton, so really nice and breathable, really lightweight as well. I think would be a really good option if you live in the Northern Hemisphere and you're heading towards spring too. Um, I went for the black, but it also comes in a white, which is really beautiful, very, very fresh uh, and perfect for that time of year. I'm wearing it in the European 36 or the size small and would say that it definitely fits true to size, but very beautiful quality and something I'm very excited to get a lot of wear out of as we sort of head towards winter. I did actually purchase another item from Zazan, but unfortunately they haven't worked out for me. I thought I would share them with you anyway in case they're of interest to any of you. Uh, these are called the Austin Trouser or Austin Pant and I purchased them in the Ecru Fleck, which is a really beautiful off-white with these almost kind of camely teddy biscuit brown flecks throughout. They're 100% GOTS organic cotton and it's a really thick cotton twill. Basically feels like denim, so really weighty. Actually would be really good if you're in the Northern Hemisphere for this time of year as you're trying to transition and wear lighter colors. Or if you live in the Southern Hemisphere heading towards winter and you live in more of a milder climate, I think these would work really nicely as well. They're a paper bag style and then they've got a bit of a tapered fit through the leg. I find that the legs are actually really long on me, so I have to roll them up at the ankle. Um, but yeah, I just felt like they weren't the one. Uh, and I do have a similar paper bag waist pant, which I prefer. So I figured rather than keeping something that is nice, but just wasn't 100% for me, I would just hang on to the ones that I've got and make do with those instead. But really lovely. I got them in the 34 and I would say they fit like a size 26 jean. So size down if you want them to fit the way that they look on me, if you plan on getting them. The next item is another top and this is called the Silk Picnic Tank from Eveline. This was gifted to me. I actually couldn't decide on the color, so I went with two. And and this is just beautiful. As you will remember, pre-pregnancy, silk tanks were kind of my go-to everyday sort of a style. And I still absolutely love them. I just have to be a little bit more intentional when I wear them. Um, I, I absolutely adore the style. It has this two button detail at the back with a little slit. So it's quite kind of floaty, breezy, the sort of thing that you would wear loose. Um, it is, I would say, a little bit of a cropped fit. Well, not necessarily. You could definitely tuck it into something high-waisted, but uh, the sort of thing that I would intentionally wear worn loose. It's double-layered silk as well, which is lovely, so the black isn't sheer at all. The white one I did try on with a white bra, and you can see it through. I'll show you on the cutaways just so you can get a sense of um, how opaque it is, um, but I think if you're wearing a skin-colored bra or a skin-colored bandeau, you'd be absolutely fine. You wouldn't have to worry about that. Maybe I can do a side-by-side -side of the two so that you can get a sense, but yeah, it just has these really Really beautiful little pearly buttons on the back which I adore. Also has adjustable straps on the back which I really like. Just a fab little tank for the warmer months. I think you could also layer this really nicely underneath a long sleeve top too. And I'm wearing it in the US too for anyone curious. I do feel like this size does fit on the larger side so you can kind of see I've got a bit of room here under the arms. The next item you're not going to be able to see too well because it is a pair of trousers. These are from H&M and I've really been loving what they're doing for tailoring in terms of pants at the moment and these look like a fab option and the thing I really liked about them is the fact that they've got an elasticated panel at the back which makes them very very comfortable reminds me a little bit of the uh, taper pants that I have from Uniqlo now what drew me to these was the color I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and it's a really beautiful brown it has almost a bit of a ready undertone to it I like the length of them. They're cropped and I didn't need to get them taken up at all. They are slightly tapered through the leg, but not overly so. So they have more of a straight fit to them, which might appeal to more of you. I know not everyone loves that sort of carrot shape when it comes to trousers. And yeah, I just think they're really comfortable. They look smart. They look a lot more expensive than they were. And they're a really easy piece to style as well. I think they look good, not only with sort of a pointed toe flat or belly flat or with pumps, but also with sneakers too. And I like things like that that can do double duty. And for me, these would be a great option for sort of rolling around on the floor with my son and I can easily care for them as well, which is definitely starting to become a really big factor when I'm adding things to my wardrobe. If I can wash it myself, it is a big tick from me. So 
Yeah, I absolutely love these and I also love that they fit perfectly off the rack too. Now let's talk through some accessories that I purchased from Country Road. The first one being this really cool mock crop leather belt in black and then it has the aged gold uh, hardware. I actually feel like it would look really cool with the outfit that I'm wearing right now. Um, I really love the fact that this was super wide as I don't really have any belts like this in my wardrobe already and see so that's kind of what it looks like. I thought it would make a nice addition in terms of wearing it with slip dresses and also pairing it with chunky knits so kind of using this to define my waist. It's really nice and thick. I do find country road sizing to be pretty generous so I got this in the extra small and depending on how much I'm wearing, how many layers, if it's thick or thin, I'll either wear it on the tightest uh, belt hole or else I will wear it on the last one, which is the loosest. So I thought that was really lovely. And then the other thing I bought from Country Robe was a necklace. And I've been really into the idea of having a super chunky necklace, but the ones that I like tend to be quite expensive. And when I saw this, I, I felt like it was a much more reasonably priced or affordable option as far as costume jewelry goes. So. Um, I'll put it on so you can see and I will be sure to do close-ups but it's just a simple gold toned chain and it just lays flat like that as you know I tend to wear very simple minimal outfits so I felt like having a real statement jewelry piece like this would be a nice way to mix things up and make my outfits feel a little bit more elevated and interesting the quality of this is really nice it is super duper weighty very very heavy and yeah, I absolutely love it. Another brand that I've been looking at, which is actually a eco or sustainable brand, is Laura Lombardi. Her necklaces aren't quite as chunky as this, but I do feel like they'd kind of have the same effect. And if you are looking for something like this, but you've got a bit of extra budget, or you can stretch your budget further, then I would recommend her jewelry. I have a pair of her earrings, and they are just divine. The next item I added to my wardrobe is this beautiful dress from Cecily Copenhagen. I think I've had this on my wish list for, gosh, five years years now maybe more this particular style tends to be one of those ones that the brand rolls out every single season I think it's called the long sleeved O dress I will have it linked down below anyway um, but I think it's really beautiful especially if you tend to go for more basic silhouettes and styles in your closet this is a very easy one to incorporate I think the print is really fun it's black and white I love the way it looks with a little leather jacket over the shoulders one with little booties I mean it's just a really beautiful easy to throw on piece and again that is something I'm thinking about a lot when it comes to getting dressed. I love a good throw on and go or one and done type of outfit and this is exactly that. Also looks great with my quince oversized cardigan over the top. I'm gonna link that down below because that is just a killer wardrobe staple all year round anyway but yeah I'm really really happy with it. Nice oversized sort of a loose fit through the body too and I really like the drop hem. Before I talk about the next item I did just want to address the fabric because it has kind of a raw texture to it and if you have incredibly sensitive skin you may find it a little bit itchy not massively so but you may just find that you can feel the texture on your skin which might be irritating for some. It wouldn't be autumn without a great pair of boots and I finally invested in a pair of RM Williams. This is so Australian of me isn't it? <laughs> I've, my husband's actually got two pairs. I've been wanting to purchase these particular boots for so long but if you're familiar with RM Williams you will know that they cost a pretty penny so I was waiting for them to go on sale when I finally got the alert that they did through Karma, formerly Shop Tagger at the time. I couldn't add them to my cart fast enough. These are the Millicent boot. I purchased them in two sizes because the Millicent boot has more of a pointed toe and I really wasn't sure how they were going to fit across the foot and I have quite wide feet and a bunion so something I have to be mindful of but I found that the nine and a half were way too big and way too roomy and the nine fit me perfectly. I've worn these quite a few times already and they are so incredibly comfortable. Didn't require a single break-in period. I really like the little low Cuban heel on them as well. The the only thing I will mention is they are leather soled so they do have a bit of slip to them. One thing I'll be doing once I've worn them in just a little bit more is taking them to the cobbler to get a rubber sole put on the bottom so that I don't have to worry about slipping if it is raining and I'm wearing them. But yeah just a fabulous classic black boot really don't think you can go wrong with a style like that. 
Then I wanted to round things out with some knitwear, starting with this beautiful cashmere cardigan from Bowden. I bought this while they were having a site-wide sale. I think I got 30% off it if memory serves me, which I thought was a really good discount, especially considering it was new season. It's this beautiful kind of taupey camel color and I really love the length of it. I love the fact that it has these beautiful contrasting tortoiseshell buttons and the little pockets on the hip too. I, I wanted something like this in my wardrobe. I sized up two sizes to a large because I wanted it to have more of a relaxed oversized fit. Even when I button it up, it's not snug or tight anywhere. In terms of how it would fit differently if I got in the small, I would say that the sleeve probably would sit just a little bit high because right now, I don't know if you can tell, it's just a little bit long and it might also be a bit more cinched in at the wrist, but I don't mind that and actually I think they look really great when worn just loosely rolled up, which is something I tend to do with a lot of my knitwear, but it's just such gorgeous quality. It is really nice and thick. And for anyone asking, my next Best Basics video is gonna be on cashmere knits. So keep your eyes peeled. Hopefully it'll be helpful even for those of you on the Northern Hemisphere when you're planning your autumn winter wardrobe for next year. Gosh, I know, probably don't even wanna think about it, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, I um, absolutely love the way that it fits, the way that it looks. You will have seen it in our coastal getaway vlog, which if you haven't watched it and you would just like to watch a kind of 15 minute peaceful video, I'm gonna link that up in the card. But I really don't have anything else to say about it aside from I love it going to be one that I will be wearing a lot over the coming months. Then I purchased a couple of merino wool basics from Arquette. The first one I gravitated towards was this simple crew neck in this really dark kind of chocolatey brown. I thought that this would be really beautiful worn underneath my Matteau coffee floral blossom dress which I'm going to link a reel down below where you can see me wearing that dress. I think it is just divine. It has the most delightful print on it and one that I want to make sure that I'm wearing even as the weather shifts and cools down. Um, the quality of this is really nice, not itchy at all and you might be able to see my bra just peeking through. It is obviously a little bit sheer. That doesn't personally bother me. I think you just wear a really nice bra with it. I'm wearing a lonely nursing bra with this right now, so not actually anything special. But yeah, I just think the fit of it's really good. I'm wearing it in the size small, and I think it's a really good fit. I wouldn't want it to be any smaller than this. Uh, it's super duper stretchy, and I just like that it's such a fine weighted knit. Uh, it's really breathable, but it keeps you nice and warm as well. The second knit that I bought from Arquette is another super fine knit merino, this time a black turtleneck. And if you've been following me, for a really long time then you may recall I used to have a similar style from Kate Sylvester but it did get destroyed in the washing machine when Luke was building the deck. I didn't realize but he'd left a screw in the pocket of his shorts and it just shredded the knit and I was really devastated because it was one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. This isn't quite the same. It doesn't have the same fit and it's also not as opaque. You can kind of again uh, maybe it's not showing up, but you can just see the outline of your brow with this. Not so much as with the brown one, uh, but it is equally beautiful. It is really feels really nice against the skin. And again, I know it will be a really great basic, something that I can wear a lot. And I thought that this would be a nice complement to the cotton version I have. If it's especially cold, I'd probably rather wear a merino over a cotton knit, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I thought this was a really great basic. And I know that COS, which is also owned by the same parent company, do a really similar one as well if you can't get your hands on the Arquette one. And then the final item that I wanted to share with you is this beautiful oversized knit from Marl. This was another piece that was gifted to me, but honestly, I would have gone and spent all my money on it because it is just divine. It is so snuggly and soft. I really love the color. It is this beautiful brown with little kind of creamy white flecks through it, uh, which I don't really know if it's translating on camera, but it really is to me kind of the quintessential high necked knit sweater. I love how oversized it is. It has a really interesting fabric mix as well. And unfortunately I can't find the composition tag on the inside. So I will leave those details down in the description box below. I think it's got mohair, yak, uh, merino wool. I believe there's another fiber in there as well. I can't 100% remember, but the mix of all of those different types of wool is just feels like wearing a cloud. So Definitely one you're gonna see me wearing a lot. I think this is gonna be tied with my Joseph knit as one of my favorites in my wardrobe. It actually, the silhouette of it, reminds me a lot of a Celine jumper, which I'd had my eye on years ago, but was just 
eye-wateringly expensive and is now no longer available so very happy to have this this beauty in my wardrobe instead so yeah those are all of the new items that I've added to my wardrobe for the season ahead I would love to know if you had a favorite piece let me know in the comment section below thank you again to Karma for partnering with me on this video as I mentioned earlier I will have a link down in the description box below where you can go and check it out and add their extension to your browser which I highly recommend if you really want to make sure you can stretch your budget a little bit further when adding to your wardrobe for the season ahead thank you so much for spending some of your day with me and I will see you next time with a brand new video see you soon bye